Do you have a mantra for this year? For any year, frankly. It's kind of funny how popular that's become. Like everybody seems to choose a word and then they come up with this mantra to help them remember the word and it seems to help people, right? In this video, you get to hear about this journey I have had with mantras to inspire you to find your own focus, your own mantra. But really, it's by doing two things, going on a treasure hunt and playing cards. Hey, it's Rolinda. I'm a professional artist, but I'm also the facilitator and creator of the Reboot Club. And we gather together and we talk about things in nature and relate them to us so that we can actually reboot from the burnout spiral. And today, <laughs> we are talking about something really important and that is a mantra <laughs> okay let's just face it 2020 was weird and hard it was just hard 2021 is starting out even weirder and harder and more difficult and we don't know what's around the corner i do know this though that if you can sink something deep into your heart that gives you a little spark of hope so that you can just keep going, that's what Reboot's all about. And that, my friend, <laughs> is what the Reboot Club is all about. So here is what we are talking about today. And let me tell you the funny, funny thing. I chose a word for 2021. I'll tell that word to you in a minute. And I would love to know your word. If, did you choose a word? For this year put it in the comments i'm so so curious as to what people are focusing on for this year but this is the thing that happened i got to thinking i have been choosing a theme for each year of my life for a very long time last year 2020 my theme was about truth speaking the truth but not only speaking the truth but my mantra was it is safe to know the truth it is safe to tell the truth. And the big truth I told, do you wanna hear? Do you really wanna hear? I couldn't live in a subdivision anymore. I had to be out in this kind of setting. Like I couldn't survive and thrive and live in a subdivision anymore. And dream come true, I got a septic tank, okay? I live on what I call an agricultural sanctuary and it is healing me. But do you know what's fascinating about that? I had no idea going into 2020 that that was the truth that would be found. No idea. Now, let's step back a little bit further in time. And are you thinking of times that you've had a theme in your life? Um, this was years and years ago. And frankly, a really dark period of my life, a long time ago. And that mantra, that word, the word was grace. I needed to find some grace because I was literally eating myself from the inside out, not literally, figuratively, with perfectionism. And I couldn't make a mistake or else I would crumble to the ground. It was the pressure of being flawless, being perfect, sunk me almost. But it's really interesting because the mantra that got me through that year was, are you ready? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And you know what ended up happening? <laughs> Every time I would make a little mistake or do something that I wasn't happy with or miss an opportunity, it would be like, shoulda, woulda, coulda. And so much so that my little children, they started parroting as well. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. It was so hilarious. But that experience, that allowance of shoulda, woulda, coulda changed everything. That concept of grace, it turned into Bella Rota, my art form. Like this changed everything everything for me, focusing on that one word, grace, giving myself a little bit of that, changed everything for me. And my artwork, Bellarota, was born from that experience of focusing on grace for that period of my life. 
which then has now morphed into this idea of beautiful as is. Now, why should you care about my story? My hope is it inspires you to find your story. What are the focuses that you have on your life right now? What's that one word that will carry you into the next year as strongly as you can? What's going to be your focus for 2021 or any year, frankly? Now, let me tell you what my word is for 2021. Please, please put in the comments. Make... um, make it known, declare it to the world. Because when you do that, all of the sudden, things start changing for you. My word is alive. Yes, alive. The mantra is I live a life filled with joy, vitality, purpose, and creativity. Those four, four things are what create a life filled with being alive. It is so important that we're not the walking dead, that we actually engage and start living our life. That is my focus for 2021. Joy, vitality, purpose, and creativity. Everything that I'm doing, I'm looking towards being alive in those four ways. Now, it's very interesting. You're probably wondering, oh great, Relinda, you want to be alive. Okay, wonderful. How did you even get to that point? Let me tell you, it was so incredible. And if you want on my YouTube channel, I have the path laid out for you in a workbook. Oh my gosh, I actually made a workbook about this because it is changing everything for myself, the Reboot Club members, and anyone else who wants to participate on this treasure hunt of looking back in order to look forward. So let me show you what it looks like to go on a treasure hunt. Check out this video and you'll see more about it, but let me show you mine. It looks like this, (laughs) but look at all of these pages um, of incredible notes and writing and it, it takes some time, but it's so worth it because what you end up with are 12 treasures, 12 treasures that can carry you into the next year. We have to look for the treasure. Things are so hard. We have to look in the treasure from the pain and we have to tie up those loose ends and we have to ultimately, or we get to, we shouldn't have to do anything, right? We get to find the gratitude, even in the pain. But let me take it one step further. This is what we're going to be doing in the Reboot Club. So, let me pull out my pocket. Yes. (laughs) The next step is playing cards. If you want to find your word, if you want to find your mantra, you actually have to play cards. Are you ready? They're actually index cards. (laughs) Okay, not poker. Oh, well. But what you do... Oh, wait, we're going to do that in the Reboot Club. Hmm. Get some index cards and show up at the Reboot Club. You can find out information about the Reboot Club at beautifulasis.com. Ooh, you guys, this is juicy stuff. Do you want to be a winner of the game of life? See ya.